At age four, success is not wetting your pants. At age 12, success is making friends. At age 17, success is having a driver's license. At age 20, success is being able to have intercourse. At age 35, success is having money. Now I want you to pay close attention to how this reverses. At age 50, success is also having money. At age 60, success again is having intercourse, hopefully not with the help of prescription drugs. At age 70, success is having a driver's license. At age 75, success is having friends. And at age 80, success is not wetting your pants. You realize that when we got to 50, all the measurements for success were repeated, right? And that's simply because even to one person, success means something different at different points in their lives. And of course, to different people, success means different things. I've often heard people say that success is being wealthy and having money. But I know for a fact that money and wealth will not make some people feel like they're successful. So today we're going to talk about all the things that you will not be successful financially if you do them. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. Welcome back to my channel, my YouTube family, my rock stars. It's a rainy day and you may hear the rain in the background, but you know what? I was already dressed for this video. I took a bath for you guys. I even put on perfume. Can you smell it? You should be able to smell it because it's very strong. But I prepared for this video and then it started to rain and I thought to myself, the rain may be distracting in the background, so I couldn't do it outside. But I said, let me move it inside and hopefully the echo won't be that bad and the sound of the rain, which I love by the way, won't be as distracting. So we're gonna push through, rain or shine. I'm gonna be giving you content. That said, don't forget to subscribe and of course if you find value in this video to like it and put success in the comments if at the end of this video you believe anything that i've shared will help with your financial success all right so let's jump right into it so to be successful financially you have to realize that what matters most are results now, don't get me wrong. The process needs to be well thought out. You need to be strategic in your approach. You need to create a roadmap for execution. But whether you get intense and do that, or you go and buy the lottery and win the money, it's the same outcome. So I'm not saying you should discredit the process because I believe in smart work more than hard work. But you should make sure that the process doesn't consume you because what matters most at the end of the day is the results. Ensure, however, that the process is above board and it's not illegal in any jurisdiction but focus on the results. So let's go to story time for a moment because I need to bring this point across in a big way because it's so important to financial success. So many, many years ago, NASA was going out of space. And of course, in space, the astronauts that is needed to be able to record their findings and they needed to take notes. They discovered while in space that a typical pen does not work at zero gravity. And that's because the ink doesn't flow the same way. Now it is said or alleged that the US took 10 years and 12 million US dollars to 
develop technology, to do research and development, and to create a pen. And this pen was so amazing that it could write at 300 degrees Celsius. It could write at freezing. It could obviously write out of space or in any condition for that matter. And of course, now the US astronauts were able to document their findings using the pen while in space. The Russian had the same exact problem and they used a pencil. Now, I want you to understand that 10 years of research and development and that 12 million US dollars versus using something that was invented many, many moons ago, probably as far back as when the wheel was invented, right? A pencil. It's the results that I want you to focus on, on your journey to financial freedom. There are many ways to achieve financial success. You can get a good paying job that actually sets you up for success. You can invest in whether it's real estate, it's mutual funds, stocks, bonds, whatever you choose. You can start a business. You can also win the lottery. No joke. At the end of the day, I don't want you to get bogged down with the process. I want you to choose what best aligns with one, your values, two, your skills, and three, what's, I, I don't want to say convenient, but what's easy to do in the environment in which you live. So take, for example, we know e-commerce platforms like Goffa, Amazon, Shopify, they're very easy to pop up a product on there and to make some money. So you need to get into a business that's either easy to get into and easy to execute, or you need to do something that nobody has done before you. So there's a barrier to entry. So you can either become a monopoly, although I'm not a big fan of monopolies, but nevertheless, sometimes they're necessary, or you establish your own niche which means your products will be in demand for a long time until your competitors catch up that said stop procrastinating stop obsessing over the process stop spending time trying to make your idea that's gonna generate success or wealth perfect before you do it you know I read something many months ago or years ago because my days are intertwined now after the pandemic but it said that if you launch your business and everything goes well, you waited too long to launch because you're waiting for perfection. So you have lost so much time because some things you have to learn along the way. So as you are working towards whatever you define as success, remember to focus on the outcome, the results. Now the second important principle of achieving success and financial freedom is the fact that you must develop the courage to fail. Simply put, if you are not failing, you are just not taking enough risks. Also, you should develop a mentality where you don't quit. Failure is a part of life, but quitting is something that you're gonna regret later on, I promise you. That said, not all the investments that you make will be successful. See, as I said in one of my videos, life and failure is really like planting a tree and success as it pertains to money is the same. You are gonna take that seed and you're gonna put it into nutrient rich soil. In the same way that you take your money and you invest it in a good commodity or a good mechanism that will generate more wealth you are going to nurture that seed and you're going to water it periodically and you're not going to rip it out if there's a drought and it's not growing you're going to nurture your investment you're going to manage it to make sure that inflation and currency devaluation is not impacting it negatively and if the market is going down temporarily you're not going to pull it out and call it George or throw a tantrum. And eventually, just as the tree starts to bear fruits and to give you fruits every season, your money over time with the use of compound interest or if you're investing in real estate or something else, with time and your investment materializing, it will generate money 
and it will do so repeatedly in a passive manner. The point I'm trying to make is as you move towards success, there's gonna be many things that come in the way, but success is a long game. You have to plant the seed, you have to invest the time in order to reap the success. Now I know that many of you may have invested in Olint or Cash Plus, and if you are in the US, you probably tried something like Madoff, and you probably are very nervous right now about what you do with your money and how you invest, and that is understandable. But you can't allow that failure to dictate how you move forward, or else you're gonna set up yourself for failure. Treat a bad investment or error in judgment as a lesson. Learn from it and do better. Another principle that you should abide by along your path to achieving success, financial or otherwise, is to not make excuses. We often times like to blame everybody else but ourselves for our decision and we are always hesitant to take responsibility or accountability. You cannot achieve success if you are making excuses when you fail. You cannot become a victim of your own circumstances. You know one of the things I've heard people say often times like right now there are two vehicles that are constantly being blamed for the accidents that are happening especially in jamaica one is the mark x and the other one is the bmw it's people who don't take responsibility that blame a car for an accident we tend to forget that the car has a driver and the driver is who is really responsible and I can tell when somebody says we need to stop selling Mark X or we need to stop so souping up or scooping up. What's the term when you, when you enhance it? Mark X's or BMW's because they're killing people. Absolutely not. It's the drivers who are killing people. And it's people who usually don't take responsibility themselves that will make statements like that. I'll give you another example. I've heard so many people say we need to get rid of guns because guns are killing people. Guns are not killing people. People kill people. Another example is I keep hearing people saying we need to get rid of plastic bottles, styrofoams and you know different things like that. I mean in the event where the production of it hurts the environment I agree but it can't be because humans take their waste and dump it anywhere they feel like we are responsible for where that plastic ends up we are responsible for where that styrofoam ends up whenever i see somebody making a comment like that i know that in their own personal life they don't take responsibility for their action we have to take responsibility for our actions cars don't cause accidents plastic bottles don't dump themselves in the ocean and guns don't take lives. It's people. This article confirms that the cleanest country in the world has plastic bottles and that gun-loving countries have no shooting murders. On your path to achieving success, if you don't take responsibility, you're gonna end up blaming everybody else other than yourself for your failures. And if you're blaming people, it means you can't do introspection. You can't do the assessment of self and realize where your opportunities are because it's not your fault. Hell no, it's their fault. So how can you fix it when you are not doing anything wrong? Another principle that's necessary on your path to achieving success financially or otherwise is to set goals that are aggressive Forget realistic, because if you want realistic goals, it means you're likely planning to stay within your comfort zone. And what happens in your comfort zone? It's where goals go to die. You achieve mediocrity when you remain in your comfort zone. So your goals need to stretch you. They need to take you outside of your comfort zone and give you something to aspire towards. Now by setting goals, I'm not talking about having them in your thoughts. 
and then occasionally you have to remember what it was that you were trying to aspire towards. Those are not goals, they are thoughts. Until you put them on paper, they can't become goals. But even then, when you put them on paper, they're now a plan. When you execute them, they now become a strategy for you to achieve your goals. So make sure whether you're documenting those goals on an action tracker, a vision board, a manifestation sheet, whatever method you use, you need to document them, you need to put the owner, you need to anticipate reasons why you're gonna procrastinate and put a solution in there. You need to also anticipate hindrance or hindrances that may be in your way and stop you from achieving these goals and mitigate them proactively. Because you cannot allow these goals that you take time to document to be compromised because of something else going on in your life. You need to stay focused and that's the only way to drive towards your success. In my book, I teach you exactly how to create an action plan with some fundamentals that's going to help you to achieve them and to achieve them repeatedly. So it becomes a system and a habit for you to achieve your goals after a time. Also on your path to achieving success, you need to not procrastinate. We are the best procrastinators when it comes to our own goals. Do you ever notice how you can sit with a friend or a family member and you can encourage them to pursue their dreams? You have all the right answers. You have so much motivation that you have enough for you and them. But when it comes to you, you find every reason to not go after your dreams and achieve your success. Procrastination, as many people say, this is very common, is the thief of dreams. Thief of dreams, thief, you know the word, T-H-E-I-F is what I'm trying to say, of dreams. And basically what they're saying is, you are gonna have these dreams, you're gonna put them in your action plan or on your vision board, and tomorrow, let's say for example, right now I have a goal to lose a few pounds because I went on the scale and I was shocked that I let myself get out of control like that. And the thing is, when I look at myself, I don't really see it, but I know my objective is to be healthy. It's more about being healthy than looking thin because I've, I wasn't born to be thin. But with a goal, let's say my goal is to lose 20 pounds. What you have to do is ensure that you create actions on your path to achieving these goals that can become a habit, which means they're not, you're not stressed to do them. You don't have to put out big effort. Now, some of us are more disciplined than others where you can just say, I want to lose 20 pounds and you know, you change your diet, you start to exercise and you lose it. Well, I'm in this for the long haul. I don't like making big life changes and I'm not giving up the things I love to eat like my fruits and my vegetables in lieu of some fancy low carb or protein diet. Not happening over here. Life is too short. So I have to invest myself into it over a period of time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create goals and break that big goal of losing 20 pounds into bite-sized pieces. So for example, I'll say I need to reduce my calorie intake to 1500 per day, knowing that I need about 2200 to survive. I need to exercise for not a thousand calories because I know that's not sustainable and it's gonna make me miserable after a while, but for three to 500. But then I'm gonna do it my way. So some days I'm gonna go for a walk. Some days I might go for a swim. Some days I might do uh, jumping up the step or do kickboxing, things that I absolutely love doing so that I can sustain it and stick with it. If I were to cut out carbs, for example, like I see many people do, I would have withdrawal from bread, I swear, or potatoes, or fruits, bananas, apples, all the things that I love to eat. So I'm gonna be setting up myself to fail and that's when the procrastination kicks in. Oh, I'm gonna get one more day of eating that nice gutter bread 
or grotto bread whatever you call it with butter or I'm gonna get one more day of eating what else do I like to eat that I'm not that's not really great for me but nevertheless I eat it I'm there's so many things guys <laughs> so many things next on the list is you need to believe in yourself when you're achieving or aspiring to achieve success whether financial or otherwise self-belief is so powerful because without self-belief you can't have faith and faith is critical to you achieving goals because you have to envision it before it even happens i had to put myself in my goals live it almost before it happens and believe that i could do it and that god would deliver eventually in order for you to have that level of faith you must believe in your capabilities and your potential and many of us struggle self-love is an important topic in this regard because self-love and self-belief they are intertwined another principle is you must get rid of excess ego when I was driving from district to district as a vice president in a Fortune 500 company, peddling goods from my vehicle, you know how many people had negative things to say about me? What if I'd allowed my ego and my pride to get in the way? I wouldn't have been able to accumulate the money that I did so early in life and be able to sit here and do videos today. It was hustling that took me out of my comfort zone and somewhat conflicted with what people believed and who people believed i should be that helped me along the way and lastly my rock stars when you conceptualize those goals i want you to go above beyond and further i don't want you to limit yourself I want you to embrace your achievement but only long enough before raising the bar again because you have to keep challenging yourself to be better than your yesterday self. That's a lot of self but you get the gist. Also I want you to paralyze resistance with persistence. You are going to come across so many people who are going to become obstacles in your way. And that's why you have to get back to that why, which I share in so many videos. And your why is what's going to allow you to step out, be bold, and not allow anyone to get in the way of you achieving your success. Now, I read something some time ago that defines success for different people. And this is what it said. It said to laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better whether it is by giving birth to a child or a garden patch or a redeemed social condition to know that even one life has breathed easier because you have lived is what defines a successful person these are the brilliant words of ralph waldo and success is an amazing thing whether your success is to make more money and achieve financial freedom or your success is to seek higher education or success for you is to have a family or to have children or to live in your dream home or to buy your dream car whatever success looks like for you i am certain that these principles will help you along the way now let me ask a question before I go. Is there anyone out there, any of you my rock stars that don't want to be successful? If you want to be successful, write success, as I said earlier in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Now here's what I'm gonna leave you with my rock stars. In this life you really have two choices. Option number one, you can design an amazing life or option two you can just make a living what are you gonna do until next time 
Take care, my YouTube family, my rock stars. Walk good.